Would you stand with me, please? I was telling the pastors this afternoon that if they ever want to learn how to grow churches and plant churches, don't go to the West, go to Africa, go to Ghana. Some of you need to go with us on a trip to Ghana one time. All the pastors shout, I'll be there. <laughs> you can do it after you go to Israel. You just go Israel, Dubai, Dubai, Ghana. <laughs> Bishop Dag has preached for us now many times here at COP. During lockdown, you watched many churches around the world close and die. You watched many ministries around the world close and die. At the same time, we watched Bishop Dag and the churches in Ghana explode. When you build things on right foundations, nothing destroys them. And now, you look at Bishop Dag and the, the workers there, they're doing the biggest crusades in the world. I don't know anybody in the world today that's seen more souls brought to Christ, more churches planted. He told everybody this afternoon they have 6,000 pastors now. That's six bays of this auditorium full to the ceiling. So here all the way around. And that's just their pastors. God has been good to them. Tonight, we just don't want to receive ministry. But pastors, as he taught you this afternoon about receiving a shared anointing, letting the anointing flow to your life as the Word is taught. Pastors, don't, don't just sit here and listen with your brain. Listen with your heart. And when you go back to your churches, watch God do the same thing in your churches in Jesus' name. Can we welcome Bishop Dag Mills? Hallelujah. I'd like to welcome my wife to say hello first. Hallelujah. Please take your seats. Thank you for being so gracious. Well, as usual, we are happy to be here. And um, the Philippines feels like home. And um, we also feel like Dr. Samuel, Sister Bev, the pastors and all of you, especially those of you who have been to Ghana, are also family here. So coming here is like visiting family. And we thank God for the opportunity. Dr. Samuel was in Ghana, and he preached in my church called the Kodesh Family Church. And he really preached powerfully with a pastor's heart, and it touched a lot of us. And uh, he was with a team, which also came to First Love. And we had a series of meetings, including Brother John's meetings, and it all shows that we are all the same family. Amen. And we even had some breakfast meetings where some of your prominent leaders also spoke. So I think that there's a very strong Ghanaian-Filipino alliance until Jesus comes. And a strong COP and United Denominations Alliance. So thank you so much for having us again. I told the immigration officer, I've been here so many times, I can't tell you how many. So thank you so much. Thank you for receiving us and being so gracious. And long live our brotherhood and our friendship because of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. 
Wow, why don't you give her a better clap offering? <laughs> Hallelujah. What a great blessing to be here again. Amen. Can we all stand to our feet, please? And um, we're praying. I want you to pray, lift your hands. Bible said we should pray lifting up holy hands. Lift your holy hands and ask God to speak to you, to touch you tonight. Thank you, Jesus, for your mighty power and your holy presence. Thank you, Jesus, that you lead us, you touch our lives, you heal us, you do great things in our midst. We are grateful, Father. Thank you, thank you. Mala sando shamanda kabaranda la babanda kalenda baranda la mesa dolame shemenda ramanda la basonde. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you thanks, Father. Thank you for your mighty power. 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 Mando katala manashando la babakala. Thank you for doing great things in our midst. Thank you for healing. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you for leading us. Dear Holy Spirit, we give you thanks. Oh, machike sendola mandava kalada. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Thank you for your mighty power that is released today to heal us, to touch our lives, to bless us. We are grateful in the name of Jesus Christ. And everyone said, Amen. God bless you. I'll be there. Amen. You may be seated. Um, I want to thank Pastor David Samral once again for inviting me and welcoming me here to be with you. It's a great blessing. Uh, Pastor David Samral is a close family friend and... Um, my son Joshua sees him as a father, so I'm sharing my son with him. He, he, he's become a father to my son without asking me for permission. But I've accepted it because it's a blessing. Thank you so much for being a father also to Joshua. Amen. That's a blessing. And um, we are happy to be part of your family too. Amen. I want to say thank you to Brother John. My favorite book of all your books is It's Not Working, Brother John. That's my book. And I still have my copy. And many times I tell people, it's not working, Brother John. Be careful. This one is not working. It has 25 points, 25 chapters. And uh, Brother John Avanzini is a great blessing a very clear, lucid teaching from the Word of God for many, many years on, uh, on, 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 on prosperity or I mean, understanding God uh, in a great way. So we are really honored to have such a great father also in our midst, uh, sharing and blessing us. You know, to be a minister for five years is a great thing. But to have been a minister serving the Lord for so many years is a really great thing. And so anyone who comes near him should make sure you touch the hem of his garment so that you can get some of this blessing. So that you also be alive at the age of 85 or 87. Oh, yes. Yes, that is a great blessing. All right, let's welcome Maya. I'll be there. Whatever the cost may be, 
someone to feed the sheep if you need someone to care for them someone to show them love I'll be there oh yeah I'll be there when you call for me there will be no delays Excuses, you will hear me say to you, Here I am. Send me, oh, send me, Lord. Send me, Lord. Mm -hmm. If you need someone to talk to them, oh, if you need someone to counsel them. Someone to share the word, I'll be there. Ooh. If you need someone to pray all night, if you need someone to fast, oh, oh. someone to stand in the gap, I'll be there. And lead them to Jesus. I'll be there. Let your hand and be a witness. Say, I'll be there. I'll be there. Oh, yeah. Whenever you. Tonight, I want to share with you about greater works. Amen. John 14 and verse 11. Believe in me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else, believe me for the very works sake. Amen. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do. Because I go unto my Father. Amen. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. And if you shall ask anything in my name... I will do it. Amen. 
And if you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Amen. Well, today we are having a miracle service, I believe. And um, Jesus said that the works that I do, you shall do also, and greater works than these. Amen. So, the works of Jesus are amazing works that we must all uh, attain to. You see, God has, Jesus did some particular things. Amen. And we must decide that we're going to do the works that he did. All right? And not any other works that come to our minds. In Matthew chapter 9, we see the works of Jesus. All right? And um, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 9, as the, in verse 32, as they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with a devil. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb speak. And the multitudes marveled, saying, it was never so seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, he casteth out devils through the prince of the devils. All right? There are always slanderers, slanderers who have, who make a twist on the glorious things that God does. Look at what they said about Jesus after he cast out devils. This was a post some people made on Facebook. Do you have such people in, the, in Manila posting things on Facebook that Jesus was uh, preaching through the prince of devils? And this was the response to one good miracle. Can you imagine that? You don't have such people here, isn't it? They are in Thailand. All right? Okay. And Jesus went about all the cities. Jesus went about all the cities and villages. Jesus didn't just go to big cities. He also went to villages. Amen. The Jesus we are following, this is what he did. He went around. He, he was a mover. He was moving from place to place. He went to cities. That's nice. But he went to villages too. And these are his works. Teaching in their synagogues. Right? Teaching is one of the works of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This is one of the things that Jesus did. He cast out devils and then he was teaching in the synagogues. And then Jesus was preaching. How many want to do the works of Jesus? Yeah. Uh, how many of you were here in the afternoon session? Yeah. Pastors, there were many of you here. Oh, beautiful. All right. So, we just sang the song, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be where? I'll be doing the works of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So we will be traveling day and night. That's what William Carey said. We'll be traveling, we'll be laboring day and night about the cities and the villages. Amen. Amen. This is the work. These are the works of Jesus. Jesus went around the cities and the villages teaching in their synagogues. 
that is teaching in the church buildings, all right, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, preaching the good news. Amen. Jesus wasn't preaching uh, the news. He was preaching just the gospel, the good news of the kingdom of God. And then healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Amen. Amen. Jesus was a healing Jesus. Hallelujah. And there, there, was, there wasn't any sickness that he didn't tackle. Every, look at, no, notice what the Bible says. Every sickness and every disease among the people. All right? So this is the Jesus who we are following. Amen. He went about. All right? Now, uh, in verse 36, how many, want to, how many want to be like Jesus? There's a song, I want to be more like you, Jesus. I want to be more like, I want to be more like Jesus. I want to be a vessel you work through. I, I want to be more like you. Lift your hand and sing it. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be more like I want to be more like Jesus. I want to be more I want to be more like Jesus. I want to be a person you work I want to be more like you. I want to be like Jesus. Amen. I want to be like Jesus. Now, that means that every pastor, all right, God is going to use you to heal every sickness. Every sickness. And every disease. That means that you will not be afraid of any sickness or any disease. And now, when I say fear, I'm telling you there are diseases that are frightening. When I was working in the hospital as a young doctor, there were things that I saw that frightened me. Sometimes I will see a patient undergoing some procedures and I become frightened. Sometimes you see people experiencing certain things in the hospital and it is frightening. And some diseases, the sound and the mention of those diseases brings a lot of fear. The fear of death and fear of the unknown. And there are some diseases when I mentioned people don't even want to pray. They don't even want to pray. They just there's no point in the prayer. <laughs> it's finished already. But in the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. And every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So if you are here and you are serving God in the ministry, beginning from tonight, you are never going to be afraid of any disease and any sickness and any announcement of any kind. One time God spoke to my heart, always pray for people to get well. Pray for them to be completely recovered, no matter what. No matter what you know, pray that they will be completely well. Hallelujah. Because there are some sicknesses, if you don't take care, you rather pray that they should die quickly. 
so that they don't suffer. But Jesus is a healing Jesus. Do you believe that Jesus is a healing Jesus? Do you love Jesus? Is Jesus wonderful to you? Jesus is really wonderful to me. You know, when you say, I want to be like Jesus, you have to understand that Jesus is the best example of what you must do and how you must be. It's, it's, there's no pastor who is good like Jesus at being a pastor. There is no evangelist or there's no person who is, is such a shining light and example for us to follow. And so if Jesus prayed for every sickness and every disease, then I see by the power of God you are going to see every sickness and every disease bow to you and bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I have the loudest amen? Amen. The prophecy you believe about your life is the prophecy that is going to happen. So when I say something powerful and prophetic, you must make sure you reach up to heaven and say amen and pull it down to your life. Otherwise, it will pass over and go to the next person behind you. Can I have an amen from somebody? Beautiful. Verse 36. Verse 36. But when he saw the multitudes, multitudes, he was moved with compassion. This is Jesus. And you are going to do the works of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And what was the works of Jesus? He was moved with compassion. He had a feeling. The, the, The power of God operates through compassion. Until you start to feel compassion, God will not use you. The way he used Jesus. Because he used Jesus when Jesus was moved with compassion. Because the miracles of God are being done out of the love of God and the feeling of God towards the people. And God feels his mercy and love for people. And that feeling comes with the power. So when The power is working. The compassion is also working. And you start to feel the compassion of God for people's problems and the suffering that people are going through. In fact, you can't even be a good soul winner until you start to feel what it means to go to hell and what it means to be lost and how people are being lost And how people need to be saved until you start to feel this compassion from God. You are probably not feeling the power of God. So tonight, I want you to know that the compassion of God is here. And there are many of you here, you are receiving the compassion. The compassion and the power is joining, is merging the compassion and the power are merging to enter into your heart and it enter into your life. If you are here and you are a young man in the ministry, pray that God will give you the feeling of compassion. Yes, the feeling of compassion because it goes with the power. And Jesus was, was moved. He was moved. Jesus was a man of feelings. And he was moved with compassion because the people fainted, all right? And they were scattered, having no shepherd. What a great thing it is to be a shepherd. You know, there is no ministry like the ministry of the shepherd, the pastor, 
In the Bible, they didn't say they, they were scattered because they had no prophet. No, he said they were scattered because they had no shepherd. A shepherd is the great thing. That's, that's Jesus' real first ministry. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. Jesus never introduced himself, I'm the good prophet. He says, I am the good shepherd. To be a shepherd is, is to follow Jesus exactly and to care for people. And many of you here, listen, many of you here are being called by God to stand in the gap and to care for people. People need the Lord. I said people need the Lord. And people need God's power. Look, many problems have no solutions. Many problems have no solutions. I've been a pastor for many years. There are many things that can't be solved. There are many marital problems that will never change. I'm sorry, I wish I could tell you that it would change. That's why you should try not to get into something that is problematic. Because a lot of things don't change. You're going to have to go through and survive by the power of God. Hallelujah. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Jesus said, the harvest truly is plenteous, plenteous, but the laborers are few. And tonight, that's why we sang that song. I'll be there. I'll be there. When you need someone to pray all night, I'll be there. When you need someone to fast and to pray, I'll be there. Oh, you're not saying I'll be there. When you need someone to visit the people, to visit the sheep, lift your hand and say, I'll be there. When you need someone to preach with passion and with a feeling from God, I'll be there. When you need someone to pray for the sick, I'll be there. When you need a miracle worker, I'll be there. Oh, yes. I'll be there. I'll be there. Lift your hand and say, I'll be there. To do the works of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. And he said, pray ye therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Now tonight, God is looking for people who want to go into the harvest field. The harvest field of 108 million Filipinos. Hey! <laughs> God is looking for people. Men of God. It's easy to sit down and criticize. Yes. But you see now, this is what the Holy Spirit wants. And I'm sorry, but I have to tell you what the, I feel the Holy Spirit wants. He wants you to give yourself. Amen. Some of you even to give your child, to give your, your family, to give up for Jesus and say, Lord, I'll be there. I'll be there to serve you. I'll be there to travel. You know, if the world had 100 people, if the world, there was only 100 people in the world, 60 of those people would come from Asia. Yes, if the world had only 100 people, 60 of those people will be from Asia. Asia is the, um, Asia is the big bread basket of souls. Yes. All the nations in Asia are more than the whole world put together. I mean, the rest of the world. Yes. More than. 
India is now bigger than China. You know that. Now is more people in India than in China. Between India and China, we have almost half of the world. And there are other small, small countries like Philippines, Japan, Korea, Thailand, Myanmar, Nepal, Mongolia, Korea, Indonesia. Millions and billions. And let's ask ourselves, of all these amazing souls in Asia, how many know Jesus? Have you thought of the different types of religions that have swamped the whole of Asia? Everything else other than Christianity. Huh? Everything. Any other religion, any other belief except Christ. As we sit in our small, small churches and praise ourselves. Huh? When the work is lying before us, when there is so much more to do, I once preached a message, can't you do just a little bit more? As we see the people going to hell, going into darkness, and all we want are little blessings. But I want to be more like Jesus tonight. And I want us to all be, decide to be more like Jesus. The more you seek God, the more he gives you what you, you, you didn't ask for. The more you search for God, the more he gives you what people are dying for. What people are giving up everything to get. He just gives it to you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things that people are dying for will be given to you. And today I promise you, one of the greatest doors to blessings that people are dying for is to give yourself wholeheartedly and unreservedly to this glorious mission. The glorious mission of saving the lost and working for the Savior and being a loving servant humble in the field never tired of doing the simple tasks that are given to you by Jesus Christ yes it's the greatest door to all blessings and all that Christians are looking for in this world yes may you lift your hand and say Jesus I'll be there I'll be one of those you send one of those you use in Asia. Thank you, Jesus. God is depending on this wonderful church and all the many people that are here to do something even more than you have done. Well done up till now, but there's much more because you are still alive. You are here. You are here. Yes. And God wants to use you and bless you. Oh, he wants to bless you more than you want to be blessed. No, I'm telling you, God wants to bless you more, more than you, you, you want to be blessed. He loves you so much. He wants you to be more blessed. But this is one of the great doors, a great door and effectual that is open for you. To, to receive things that you even can't, don't even have the time to pray for or don't even know that you need. Is to just to seek him and to seek his kingdom. To seek his kingdom means to seek the interests of his kingdom, the interests of his house, the interest of his work. That is what it means to seek the kingdom. And when you do that, yes, you'll be blessed so much by God. Jesus said, My meat. My satisfaction. What makes me happy? Jesus said, what makes me restful? Huh? Can you imagine meat? Jesus was being offered chicken. He said, no chicken. 
I have more chicken. You don't know my chicken. I have pork. I have shrimps. I have everything. And they said, where did you get your pork from? Where did you get from? Is it from a Korean restaurant? They said, no, I have my own special chicken. Hey, how many want to eat some of Jesus' chicken and Jesus' pork? Wow. And the disciples were wondering, what is this guy talking about? And Jesus said, listen, when I do my father's work, like I sort of become full. It's like I'm eating chicken and pork and shrimps and rice and ah! With Coca-Cola on the side. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Everyone who is hungry will become full when you serve God and you do his work. Everyone. Everyone. And today, God, God's going to bless you as you dedicate yourself wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly and unreservedly to his glorious mission. Yes. Young lady, God has a work for you. Yes, God has a work for you. Amen. Young lady, God has a work for you. Did you hear what I said? I'm talking to a, a lady, and I'm saying God has work for you to do. Amen. Oh, yes. Where is she? Come to me. Yeah. Come. Yeah. And you see, hello, my dear, what's your name? What? Johanna. Johanna. How old are you? 23. I didn't hear? 23. Yes. Listen, God has a work for you. And you know why God, is going to, why God is going to use you? Because you see, there are a lot of guys, okay? They are not interested. Yes, I called them. That's what he says. He called them. They, don't, they are not interested. They are not interested. And so God is going to use you and other girls. You'll be preachers. You'll be anointed. You'll be filled with the Spirit. And you'll be used by the Lord. Yes. You'll be used by the Lord. Because a lot of guys, they're just not interested. Bring her to me. Let God, let God speak to you. Lift her up. There's power here. Come here, my dear. Oh, yes. Thanks. Yes. Jesus calls and Jesus sends. Many of the people whom Jesus sends, you know what they say? They say, what type of job is this? Just little talking, talking with people. <laughs> they mock the work of God. And they despise this wonderful work that we have. This wonderful work, Pastor Samra has been here for 43 years. Talking every day. Talking, talking, talking. People despise it. People despise this wonderful work. This wonderful, this is what God has. If you are invited to the king and he says, wipe my bathroom for me, this is the work I have to do. How can you despise it? Is it more glorious and honorable to work for the king? than to do anything else anywhere. Kala sando shanama sando la baba. There's a girl and other girls. God will use you. Not because he wants to break his own rules. And not even let women preach. But because many of those people despise. Do you think God doesn't know those who are honest? Many honest people, when they are called, they are not interested. Like Esau. 
God called, he, he, he despised in the Greek, the Bible used the word bebelos. He despised the honorable position of being the first, and the one who was called. And God said, I'm going to give it to a thief and someone, a cheat, a liar like Jacob. Because he values these things. He values such things. This wonderful work that we have to do. I'll give it to him. And you can talk against him the rest of your life. But I'll use him. And today that is Israel. Israel, Jacob. He called him. Today, I want you to open your heart. Because you see, God will use you over there. When you think... He, would, he should have chosen a better person and used a better person. My God. If you are here and you sense God is calling you to, to use you, just come quickly to the front now. Come, just, just walk here. I just want to pray with you right away, please, before we... Yes, I'll pray for the sick, but there's a call. There's, a, there's an invitation from heaven. From heaven. Here's my work. It's little, little errands. Are you interested? Are you interested in my little, little jobs? My little, little errands that I have for my people. Oh, yes. There are young men. There are young girls. There are men. There are women. Jesus is calling. He's calling. Come on, my friend. If God calls you, why would you hesitate for even one second when the king invites you if the president of Philippines invites you to make tea for him, wouldn't you go? How much more the king of kings and the lord of lords inviting you to come and do something little in his house. Come on, my friend. Come on, young man. Come on. God wants you. God loves you. God has put his eye on you. God has put his eye on you. But you will serve him. Thank you, Jesus. Receive the gift of God. Thanks. Thanks. There's power here. There's power here. Receive. Receive. Yes, watch, 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 watch. Thanks. Thanks. There are going to be many girls in this army. Receive the gift of God. Watch. There's power. There's power. Look at it. There's power. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Use them, Lord. Receive the gift of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now everybody lift your hands. These are the works of Jesus. The works of Jesus. The works of Jesus. He loves you. 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 Thanks. 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 Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for power. Thanks for glory. Thanks, Lord. Thanks for calling. Thanks for sending. Thanks for choosing people. Choosing people tonight. If you can use. Receive, 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 
Jesus. Use all this place, Lord. Please use them, Lord. Thanks. 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 Use them, Lord. Beautiful. Beautiful. Power. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus, I thank you for these wonderful people here. I know you love them so much. And so you are choosing them and calling them to serve you, to do greater works, to do the works of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Many in COP, many, many in this church, Cathedral of Praise, shall be sent abroad to work for Jesus. Many. You shall go on journeys and you shall travel to places. You shall go with a message and you shall be used mightily in this last harvest. Let the angel of the Lord bring you into his place. The place that he has for you. Let the angel of the Lord carry you and place you where you belong in his work and in the field. May your life not end without you fulfilling the great call and the great commission of Jesus Christ that is on your life. Let this service and this church be remembered for the shining stars that shall be sent out from our midst to the ends of the world. Father, I give you thanks and I give you praise for all that you've done. Put your hand on your belly. I declare out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. There's power now. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power, 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 receive it where you are standing, receive wherever you are, receive power to do the will of God and the works of Jesus. Ah, mandola mandala bandala bala. Hale mandolo mokoro la Oh yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you have done tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Serve him ardently and with urgency. Be anointed to do the works of Jesus and to do more to do more let God anoint you and use you for Asia 
for the bulk of the souls in this world the bulk of the eight billion souls that are here in the mighty name of Jesus Christ God bless you you may go back to your seat oh yes How many expect a miracle tonight? Amen. Now, to conclude, the laws of miracles. Oh, just leave her, leave her on the ground. Lisa, I'm okay. Anyone on the ground, just leave them. Anyone screaming or falling down, bring them to me in the front. Just leave them here, please. There's power here. Oh, yes. Anyone falling down, screaming? Gently, my dear. Thank you. Shh. What a blessing. How many know that Jesus is a healing Jesus? Oh, yes. Yes. He's a healing Jesus. And as the years go by, I want you to take note of the miracles which you see as you serve God every miracle in the Bible by the grace of God you see one in your life and your ministry amen you see it takes time to see them but you see in the end everything yeah oh yes The Bible says Philip went down to Samaria and preached Christ, Acts 8 verse 5, unto them. And the people gave heed to the things which Philip said, both seeing and hearing the miracles which he did. For many that were taken with the palsies were healed. And unclean spirits, crying with a loud voice, came out of many that were possessed. So, you don't have to be uh, afraid of screaming, afraid of miracles, afraid of manifestations. It's part of ministry. This is the only evangelist we know of in the Bible. Philip went down to Samaria and unclean spirits crying with a loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them and many taken with palsies and that were lame, they were healed. And there was great joy in the city. There will be great joy in the city and great joy in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Number one, the law of divine selection. As we get ready to pray for the sick and for miracles in your life. Now, everyone here is going home with a miracle tonight. Yeah. Do you believe in miracles? Yes, everyone is going home with a miracle. Yeah. You know, Kenneth Hagin had a vision. And in the vision, Jesus was speaking to him. And the, and the Lord told him, always pray for the sick. Even when people are in the hospital, pray for them. It changes the outcome. I was so touched by that. He said, even when they are in the hospital, whatever is happening, pray for them. And it, it brings the power of God to come and join that problem. And miracles will happen. Hallelujah. So, God is a doer of miracles. And I'm, in my book on miracles and manifestations, I have a law. It says, the law of divine selection. Amen. The Bible says, there were many widows in Israel. Yes. In the days of Elijah, when the heavens were shut up. And when there was great famine, all right, but unto none of them was Elijah sent. God didn't mind all the widows, but he took one widow, the widow of Sarepta. And the Bible says there were many lepers, many lepers. It's, it's something we don't understand. Do we understand everything about miracles? There are people we pray for, they don't get healed. A lot of people don't get healed. Uh, some get healed. Uh, do when I become God, then I can explain to you. 
And since I'm not becoming God, I, I cannot explain. But what I do know is that Jesus is a healing Jesus. And that he can heal you and that he will heal you. And I believe you are the one that God has chosen to heal. And God has chosen to set free by the power. Lift your hand and say, I receive it. I receive it. Amen. Amen. Wow. We don't understand everything. Number two, the law of humility. Tonight, through the law of humility, the Bible says a woman which had an issue of blood for 12 years and suffered many things of many physicians, but rather grew worse. When she heard, huh? Yes of Jesus, she came in from the press from behind and she said, if I touch the hem of his garment I shall be made whole when I said you should touch the hem of brother John's the security people should protect him, but I'm just telling you that I also mean it you see, when we are proud you think that somebody's shirt cannot heal you. But this woman, she, had, she was low. She was bleeding and smelling for 12 years. She got to a, l- a low place. She said, you know what? If I touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Yes. One day I shook hands with somebody, but she didn't tell me then. She said she didn't bath for some time, for some days, because I shook hands with her. Wow. I, don't, I didn't tell her not to bath. Don't ask me, but I, I believe in bathing. But you see, it, was, it meant something to her. But you see, when you are proud, these things are nothing to you. Yeah. But this woman, she said, if I touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. And today, just a touch. I said, just a touch makes you whole. Jesus is a healing Jesus. And he's here tonight. So the first law is divine selection. Everybody say the law of divine selection. Number two, the law of humility. And number three, the law of repeated ministrations. Many times for a miracle to happen, it has to be, re- you, 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 you have sometimes pray for people several times. Why did Elijah, te- Elijah tell Naaman, go and bath in the river Jordan seven times? Why not three times or why not once? Seven baths. He had to go in the water, come out, dry himself with a towel, put on his clothes. And then, my second time, take off his clothes, jump into the water, have his bath come out, dry himself seven times. Hey! Maybe you were prayed for last time and you'll be prayed for again. One time Jesus prayed for a man and when he prayed for the man, he asked the man, do you see? He said, I see men like trees. Ah. And Jesus prayed for him again. So thank God. That's why this program is not for one day. Yes, it's the law of repeated ministrations. <laughs> Hallelujah. One day there was a lady with cancer. And the man of God decided to pray for people on Tuesdays and Fridays. But the program was every night. So the first Tuesday, nothing happened. Friday, nothing happened. Tuesday, nothing happened. The program was for three weeks. Friday, nothing happened. So two full weeks went by. Then the third week on Tuesday, this woman was only skin and bones. She was about to die. She had cancer. And she advanced cancer. Stage stage 9 cancer. Stage 55 cancer. Stage 100 cancer. Hey! And when the man of God laid hands on her, immediately, that is on the Friday, and he had prayed for her Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday, Friday, nothing happened. But on the fifth day, 
that he prayed for her, the Tuesday. I don't know why. Don't ask me. You people like asking too many questions. I don't know. <laughs> but on the Tuesday, he laid hands on her. Suddenly, he was in the realm of the spirit. And there was a demon hanging onto her chest. She had lung cancer. And the demon was on the, uh, the, the, the chest. He saw the demon. He said, hey, what are you doing here? Come off. And the demon jumped to the ground like this. I said, go out. And all this happened in church. Walk out. And he didn't want to go. He walked to the back and looked back longingly. He wanted to come back. And he was forced. He said, go out. And he went out into the compound. Didn't want to leave the compound of the church. Demons always want to come to somebody else. And the demon walked out of the building, out of the compound, and went to a nightclub. And the nightclub burnt down the next day. Yes, it burnt. There was a fire. Now, this lady who had cancer and was only left with bones and the skin, she was healed. She started to put on weight, put on weight, and became 100% normal. 100% normal. The doctors could not believe she was the last stage of cancer. That's the law of repeated ministrations. Yeah. Let's be humble before God. Amen. Let's not mind praying and praying again. Do you mind praying again? Oh, I can't hear you. Do you mind praying and praying and praying and praying again? No, don't mind. Jesus is a healing Jesus. I said Jesus is a healing Jesus. And he's healing you tonight. Are you ready to experience the power of God tonight? Oh, what a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. The laws of miracles. Amen. And then finally, the law of spiritual timing. Amen. I don't know why there's a time for everything. The Bible says in Galatians 4.4, 4, when the fullness of time was come, then God sent his son. So I believe that there is a time for your healing. And a time for your deliverance. Every standing, please. Every standing. Everyone standing, please. Oh, yes. Now, as every head is bowed, please, I want to pray with you. I believe, as Pastor David said, we are going to have Miracle Crusade in Manila. Open air, and everybody has to come. Are you going to be at this open air crusade? It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. We are going to become happy again. Amen. Now, every head bowed and every eye closed for one moment. If you are here tonight and you, you don't know Jesus as your Savior, what do I mean by that? Like maybe somebody invited you, but you are not born again. You don't even understand what it means to be born again. But you want Jesus to come into your life. How many want Jesus to come into your life and change you and wash you? As every head is bowed, if you are here and you want Jesus to change you, like he's changed so many people here tonight. Jesus, change me. Change me. Wash me. Forgive me. Accept me. If you are here like that and you want Jesus Christ to come into your life, lift up your right hand like this and I'm going to pray with you. Lift it up high. God bless you. I see you want to give your life to Jesus Christ and be born again tonight. Ah, maybe someone invited you, but truly in your heart, you don't really know God. This is your chance. This is your chance. If you are here like that and you want me to pray with you, you want to give your life to God, then lift your hand up again. Beautiful. I see all your hands. Now, if you've lifted up your hand like this, come to me in the front here. Just come. Walk to the front here. Walk from wherever. From upstairs. From upstairs. Wherever you are. Just, just come all the way down to the front here. I, I want you to come all the way here. Come from the back. Those who lifted your hands, you want to give your life to God. You want to give your clap for them as they come. Clap come for them, encourage to them. Jesus. Come on to Jesus. Clap for them as they come. God bless give you. Give him your life today. Come on to Jesus. Come on to Jesus. Let him have his way.
coming from upstairs clap for them as they come encourage them encourage them encourage them in the various campuses south north east west wherever you are you want to give your life to God I, I need to pray with you in the front here come to the front clap for them they are still coming they are still coming many many people are coming to God come to Jesus now there are some of you you lifted your hands but you haven't come to the front I want to encourage you if you lifted your hands you want Jesus to save you come, come Jesus is calling you, come clap for them as they come, come come, come, come come, God bless you God bless, don't be afraid don't be afraid Jesus is love he loves you and he's calling you tonight now everyone lift your hands and let's pray together say this prayer with me say Jesus Jesus thank you for tonight thank you for tonight please forgive me please forgive me for my sins for my sins I have done many bad things I have done many bad things many many bad things many many bad things please have mercy on me please have mercy on me and wash me with the blood of Jesus. And wash me with the blood of Jesus. Now say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I open my heart. I open my heart. And I receive you. And I receive you. As my Savior. As my Savior. And my Lord. And my Lord. I open my heart. I open my heart. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Please wash me. Please wash me. And cleanse me. And with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Make me a new person. 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 I give my heart to you. I give, I give my, my heart. heart to you. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody say thank you. Thank you for saving me. For saving me tonight. Tonight. Now lift up only your left hand like this. Everyone, everywhere, all of you in front, every campus, and say with me now say satan 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 listen very carefully listen very carefully in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i will not serve you again i will not serve you again i will not follow you again i will not follow you again i belong to god i belong to god i belong to jesus i belong to jesus i am a follower of jesus i am a follower of jesus Say it out loud. I am a servant of Jesus. I am a servant of Jesus. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Satan, I cast you out of my life. Satan, I cast you out of my life. Now lift your two hands like this. And say, Jesus. Jesus. I love you. I love you. I thank you. I thank you. For saving me. For saving me. Today. Today. Thank you, Thank you for receiving me. For receiving me. Please write my name. Please write my name in the book of life. In the book of life. From tonight. From tonight. I am your child. I am your child. I am your servant. I am your servant. I am your follower. I am your follower. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen and Amen. amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Now, yes. I want us to pray for every sickness and every problem. You, you may not have a sickness, but you have a, a problem. Everybody has a problem. And I'm going to pray with you. After you go to the Yada room, after. 
All right. And we are going to go with you to a room. But before you go, how many believe that Jesus can heal you? Amen. He's a healing Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you right now for breaking the curse of Satan in our midst. You are a wonderful healing Jesus. I pray concerning cancers, cancers. Anyone suffering and struggling with any type of cancer or any type of threat of your life, I pray for you right now for healing. Put your hand where your problem is and if you can put it there, if you can't, just lift, it, lift up your hand. Father, thank you. He's a thank you for your Jesus. power. Thank you for everyone upstairs, those on the campuses, Jesus. everywhere. He's healing you. Thank you that you are healing. Jesus name right now. Thank you, Jesus. Man o He's a healing Jesus. There's power here tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks for your power. Thanks for your healing. Eyes, eyes are being healed. Put your hand on your eyes right now. He's healing your eyes. Breast conditions are being healed. Breast. Breast cases. Breast cancers. Breast threats of the breast and from the breast. In Jesus name. Someone who cannot have a child, Jesus is touching you right now. Receive the grace. Receive healing. Malanchi the lay marakaza mando la meda la mala. Ah. Oh yes. Jesus. Thank you. Receive your healing in the stomach, in the abdomen. Abdominal cancers, abdominal tumors, and pains. Pains are being healed. Pains are being healed. Receive your healing right now. Amandala Mashimando Matomale Maramasodala. I'm so saying that I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amada Mado Shamanda Lima Maramasa. Oh, yes. Father, we pray right now concerning any form of threat, threatenings on our lives. Let there be healing. Receive peace. There's somebody here with a lot of anxiety and, and concern for your life. Receive peace from the Lord. The Lord said to me to tell you that you are not going to die. As it seems or maybe it's threatened that you are going to die but this is not the time to die for you you cannot die unless it is your turn to die and the lord is saying that it is not your time to die there are some years ahead that you must accomplish receive extension of your life and a prolongation of your days in the mighty name of jesus father thank you for many many healings right now somebody's being healed in the eyes in the chest breast tumors and breast masses I curse you I command you to disappear every threatening and shortening of life premature death I rebuke it and arrest it in the name of Jesus Rasando Samanta Paragala everyone who is being summoned to the grave you are being summoned to the grave I reject that summoning right now Kalamada every invitation to the grave every form of premature death in the name of Jesus I stand and reject it right now receive your healing receive your healing somebody feel the power of God maybe you feel it warm you feel it cold you feel something maybe you don't feel anything but there's power here right now there's power here receive it now receive Father, thank you for so many miracles. He's a healing oh, Jesus. A He's healing a healing Jesus. Jesus. He's a healing Jesus. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's power. That's power. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks, Jesus. In Jesus' name.
just close your eyes for a moment wherever you are check yourself maybe you had a pain maybe you had a problem oh yes somebody with a back pain couldn't bend couldn't walk couldn't do so many things ha ah, receive your healing right now oh yes wherever you are check yourself father thank you for so much that you have done and thank you for the beginning of miracles in this amazing conference the beginning of miracles the opening of miracles thank you for so many wonderful things you have done now right now wherever you are if God has how many have been touched by God tonight how many believe God has touched you now wherever you are if God has done something for you maybe you couldn't walk or you couldn't see or you had a problem but you can see that God has done something wherever you are if God has done something I want you to lift your hand like this and then I want you to come to me on this side I think I want you to come to this side come come from wherever you are I want to pray for you again on stage and take your testimony so wherever you are if God has done something for you you are healed maybe you couldn't see but now you can see maybe you couldn't walk but now you can walk maybe you couldn't do something and God has done something for you just come 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 from upstairs come from wherever come all the way to me come to this side here God bless you maybe you are healed on this side wherever you are God has done something on the campuses also if God has touched you you need to come oh Jesus touched me he touched me he always touches somebody. He touched me. Oh, yes. And oh, the joy that floods my soul. Wherever you are, God has done something for you. Something, something. happened. Oh, yes. And now I know He touched me. Come on, my friend. There's somebody here. You were dying, you, you, you were threatened, and Jesus is healing you right now. You couldn't walk, but now you can walk. You couldn't do something, but you sense that the power of God. Come all the way. Can it come all something the way to my... Something happened, something, something happened right now. Can I have another microphone? Many, many miracles tonight. Lift your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. Come this way. Come all the way on the stage. How many believe that God can do wonderful things? You know, from the time the Lord told me, just pray for the people. Just pray. Just pray. He's a healing Jesus. What happened to you, my dear? Um, praise the Lord. I've been having this back pain for over one year, eight months, ever since I gave it to my last son. And uh, even this morning... You had back pain. pain for yeah. one year and eight months. One year and eight months. Yeah. Wow. So I, How many know that back pain is one of the difficult things to cure? If you haven't had back ache before, I don't want to pray God should give it to you, but I just want you to know that it is one of the amazing difficult things to, to, to solve. Yes. So when I was sitting there, so I'd be feeling the back pain, so I was moving around. So when Pastor, the man of God was praying, so I feel relieved. So now I can't feel anything anymore. You I can't feel God. any pain anymore. <laughs> Give the Lord a shout of praise. He touched me, he touched me. Thank you, Lord, for your mighty and power and healing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Give the Lord a clap of it. What happened here? Something. Something happened right now. I know Jesus touched me. Can you take off your mask for a minute? Yes. What happened to you, my dear? Actually, I had high uric acid so i've been taking you had what uric acid uric acid i've been taking medicines for three months 
but it doesn't work. I mean, I cannot. There's a lady here who is healed of a breast condition. Somebody's healed in the breast. Oh, yes. Who is that? Somebody right here. Okay, wait. She should wait. Hallelujah. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's finish this one. Uric acid. Every time that I lift my hands, I feel like there's a lot of electricity, something like that. So I often put my hand down wow. and just kept on lifting my left hand. But right now, I claim to God, I declare that I'm free from every sickness and diseases. And I did that. I have this uh, stiff shoulder as well. Stiff and my back, shoulder. Yeah, and my back is aching all the time. So right now, I can declare that I'm free from these bandages. So I'm so happy that I, I can now worship God, having my two hands lifted wow. up. Wow! Give the Lord. Amen. Uric, uric acid, gout. Gout. Yes. Here. Affecting the joints. Exactly. The uric acid little crystals. They form in the joints and you can't move the joints and very, very painful and swollen and red sometimes. And tonight God has healed you. Come, my dear. Come. Yeah. Jesus, oh, thanks. Thanks. Right now, thanks for your mighty power. Oh, he touched me. There's power here. Somebody with a breast. What happened, my dear? Uh, I'm diagnosed. Stage 3 breast cancer. Stage 3 breast cancer. In pain, in pain po ako. Pero nung tinats mo po ako, Pastor, nagpo-flow po yung power ni Lord at hindi ko na po naramdaman yung sakit. She was in pain, but when you touch and pray for her, the pain, all the, the pain, pain was gone. The pain disappeared. Yeah. Yes po, Pastor. Thank you so much, Lord. Wow. I'm healed. Kini claim ko na po, Lord, na healed na po ako tonight. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Do you have oil? Do you have oil? Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Step forward, please, my dear. Thanks for your mess. 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 Oh, yes. Thank you. And he's healed. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name, He's a healing Jesus. He's a healing Jesus. He's a healing Jesus. A healing Jesus. A healing Jesus. A healing Jesus. He's healing you. He's healing you. In Jesus' name, right now. He's a healing Jesus. A healing Jesus. Every, listen, every woman here, lay hands on your breast. I want to pray for your breast, for protection. Father, thank you for protection for every threatening cancers of the breast. In the name of Jesus, for today, for tomorrow, for the years ahead. Thank you. We block every, every invasion, every invasion of cancer into this church, into every woman present and praying with us thank you for your mighty power of protection in jesus name amen hallelujah what happened to this lady hello good evening pastor yeah uh before i came here i feel so much pain on my left legs because of sciatica and then I feel so much nervous because I came here. But I believe Lord will heal me. But now I feel no more numbness, no more pain. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wow. She had pain from sciatica. sciatica. Yeah, nerves pain. All, all down. Yes, and from my back pain. All the way. Yes. And all the pain is gone. Yes. Wow. For you are great. You are great. You do miracles. So great. Yes. There is no one else like you. Nobody, nobody, no. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles. So great. There is no one else like you. Thank you, Jesus. There is no. One 
what is this? Hi, Pastor. Hi, hello. Uh, I have a spondylosis for uh, more than a decade. Spondylosis of oh, your neck? Yes, that's correct. And the, I, it was a burden to me for every day of my life. And I always ask for a prayer for that uh, from our pastors and myself. And yet, I still uh, feeling the pain. Yes. But right now, after you said that receive, yes. and then right now, I, for the first time after a decade, I feel so light in my neck and shoulder. Wow. Actually, I am shy. But, you are shy. Yeah, I was shy to testify, but I was hearing the voice. Wow. You have to do that. You have to testify. Wow, what a blessing. Come, on, my dear. Don't be shy. You are great. You do miracles so great. There's no one else. There's like no one else like you, Jesus. There is no to this young man? I have uh, kidney disease. Kidney disease. Yeah, Chronic renal failure. Yeah, have you had a kidney transplant? No. Are you waiting for a kidney? Are they going to do an operation? Come to me. What happened to you tonight? Um, the big, the, because of difficult of breathing, after the prayer, I feel the... You felt the power of God. Yes. And you have chronic renal failure. Yeah. Lift your hands. Satan is wicked. How old are you? 29. 29 years old. Are you on dialysis? No. No dialysis. Yes. Jesus, I thank you for correcting. You know, the kidney is one organ that cannot correct. When it's failing, you can't, make, you can't give medicine to make it come back. When it's poor, it's poor. Look at it, a young man, 29 years old. Satan wants to kill him. But you are finished, Satan. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke the Nothing is impossible of the enemy upon to those who believe oh. and say. Thank you for your mighty power, Lord. And I believe God's word is still the same. I expect a miracle. And I, I expect, expect a miracle. How many expect a miracle? Today, Lift your hand and I expect, expect a miracle. I expect a miracle today. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible to those who believe and say. From here down to my fingers and then a while ago while you were praying I'm I'm holding this one and asking the Lord to heal me and yeah. right this time I don't feel the numbness, numbness. in my right what, right what do you mean by then, numbness it's I don't feel I it, it really pester me every day because every I really day. feel uh, uncomfortable with this feeling yes. that it's so numb until yeah. Here in my fingers. all the way to her fingers yes, yeah. she can, feels numb yeah. you can't really feel and it really disturbs listen God's power is touching it whether Amen. it's a developing stroke spondylosis Praise whatever God. it is in the name of Jesus oh, thank you yeah. thanks thanks I for your power thank you Oman is saying that Lama Shameda. we pray for her thank you for your power of healing in Jesus name Can you take off your mask for just... Uh, in 2010, I was operated on the head for aneurysm. So God for what? Aneurysm. Brain aneurysm. Brain aneurysm. Brain aneurysm. Hmm. Do you know what is an aneurysm? How many don't know what it is? Oh, you all know everything. 
so you don't want me to tell you i was asking if you didn't know i would tell you how many want to know what is what is that yeah it's like your your blood vessel is going like this and then in the middle it becomes like a balloon like it wants to burst just in one little spot it wants to burst that's what you call a, a brain aneurysm Yes, but God healed me and gave me a second chance in life. Last wow. month, uh, I experienced the same pain where my, I had my aneurysm. And I went to see a doctor and he said that I have to go uh, through a CT angiogram. But I didn't. So I just prayed and it was, gone. it was an on and off thing. So before the light conference started, I experienced the pain again. It, wow. it was so severe and I was not able to because I am an usher in you are an church. usher yes so I just decided that I would attend and uh, probably uh, yesterday after the 5 p.m. service I went to PGH that is the biggest hospital public hospital in the Philippines but there were no doctors around so I just visited a friend of mine who also had an aneurysm so I prayed for her and then I said to myself I'll just go to church and I'll ask God to heal me. Wow. I, the pain is still there a while ago. If you can see me, I was re- my, ha- my eyes were closed. I was worshiping God and trying to sing, but I was experiencing a severe pain. But when you said that anybody here who experiences pain, uh, put your hands where, in any part of their body. So I put my hand here and my right hand here because I also have glaucoma. And I feel a sudden warmth in my body and the pain is gone. You felt a sudden warmth? Yes. Wow. The pain is gone What a beautiful testimony. Are you understanding what she's saying? Why don't you give Jesus a mighty clap offering? Aneurysm. Come, 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 come. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to put your hands in my eyes so my glaucoma will be healed. (laughs) She believes in miracles. How many believe in miracles too? Many things doctors don't have real answers. I'm telling you because I'm a doctor too. Yes. But Jesus is healing you. Aneurysm of the brain. Brain aneurysm. I believe your word is the same. There's power, there's healing. I know. Oh, yes. So I expect a miracle today. What happened to you, my dear? Good evening, Pastor. I was diagnosed with breast cancer, stage 3B. Uh, for stage all... 3B? Yes, Pastor, for almost two years. Since 20... Actually, it's already two years since 2020. I was uh, I have undergone uh, breast surgery September 2020 and uh, for the past three months I've been imprisoned in my bed because of pain numbness you've been in in bed yes pastor. for the last three months yes pastor. because of pain yes pastor because uh, I had an a limp edema your, your arm is swollen. Yes, Pastor. Because it was on the left side. Yes, Pastor. All right. Uh, the arm is swollen because they operated on the left side. I can't hardly move my left arm. And every time I, mo- I will move it, there is pain and there is numbness. But uh, tonight, I can move it a little bit. And I know that God is healing me continuously. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks. Jesus, your name will break every stronghold. Jesus, your name is alive. Lift your hand. Jesus, your, your name, name is, is power. 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 Jesus, your name is power. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, your name. Your name will break every stronghold. Jesus, your name. 
Pastor, there's testimony in South testimony, Campus. Testimony, South Campus. South Campus. South Campus. South Campus. Oh, Pastor yes. Dag, we don't have one testimony. We have many testimonies here many in South Campus. Would you all come up here, please? First testimony here in South. We have our sister who has had pain in her shoulder for three years. Three years. Wow. Not able to lift due to pain. Lift your arm. Look wow. at that. For three wow. years. That's number one, Pastor Dag. Three years. Number That's, two. This okay. woman. She can't also, hear me, right? She can't hear me. Can yes, she hear I can me? hear oh. you. Oh, yes. That is what we call frozen shoulder syndrome. Frozen shoulder. Wow. Yes. yes. Next one. Beautiful. Testimony number two. Two of four. Our second testimony. Our sister who just got saved here tonight. When she came here tonight, she has been on dialysis for over four years. With dialysis, the dialysis she has had very, very severe back pain. After prayer tonight, all the pain is gone. She can wow. bend over. She can wow. move wow. pain free. Wow. 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 What a blessing. What a blessing. Dialysis means the kidneys are not working. So they use a machine to, 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 to help clean the blood. And God has touched her and the pain is gone. Amen. Hallelujah. Number three is actually one of our medical workers who's checking and verifying all of our wonderful patients. She came here today with a swollen knee and pain in her leg. Couldn't wow. stomp, couldn't lift, and now the pain is all gone. Wow. And Pastor Dag, healing testimony number four is me. <laughs> Wow. I came here tonight with a lump on my wrist that I've had over a year, and it's gone. A lump on your wrist. Show, show us yes, your wrist. Yes, and show the doctor your... said it can only be gone with surgery. Was it a ganglion? Is that what it was called? Yes. And it, I'm left-handed, and it was on my left wrist. So writing and typing, very painful. But the doctors all checked me, and it's gone. Wow. Why don't you give Jesus a mighty clap for oh, you? Are great. You, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Hallelujah. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else. Happened to you last 20 last 2029. I diagnosed a mass in my left breast, then left, left breast, a mass. mass. Okay, then uh, last night I touch it. Even canina, we are eating in the uh, choking. I can touch, uh, I can find it. Ano, touch ko. It's is there, but now he's gone. I find I, I look here. I don't oh. want. I cannot find she Anna. cannot find the lump in the breast. Yes. Hallelujah. Listen. Now I'll tell you, many times. When a, a, a patient comes to a doctor, she says she has a, a lump in the breast. We ask her to show where the lump is. Because the patient can show the lump better than the doctor. Yeah. So where is it? So as she says, she cannot find it. It has been cast out. Where do you want the lump to go to? Thailand or into the sea? Or which country do you want to send the lump to? In the name of Jesus, it's out of the Philippines. Amen. Thank you for your power, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Wow. What is happening here? Quickly. Many, many miracles tonight. Um, hi, Pastor. Give Actually, us some volume on this one, please. Actually, um, I've been waiting for this day. You've been waiting for yes, today? Yes, yes, yes. 
um, because um, I want to receive uh, this miracle from Jesus. Wow. I want to experience this because I've been suffering for this uh, bone, um, this pain on my uh, right shoulder. Wow. And uh, inside up, up to, the bone. Yes, inside up, the bone. Up to this arm, yes. right arm. And um, I've been uh, suffering for this like every day, every night for 15 years or every more. Every day, yes. every night for yes. 15 years. Yes. Are you uh, telling the truth or you are yes, making this yes, up? Yes, yes. My, are you my, making it up no, or it no, is no. true? Yeah, it's true. My daughter knows it. Your daughter knows you're yes. telling the truth. Yes. And your daughter is here. Yes. Daughter, where are you? <laughs> She's right there. Daughter, come. Is your mommy telling the truth? <laughs> yes, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid to go to the doctor and uh, tell this uh, condition because I'm afraid to hear what you know the diagnosis like, yes, yes 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 so i'm just um waiting for the lord to hear my prayer Amen. every day to heal this this and what uh, happened pain. tonight yes what happened tonight uh, when i was uh, sitting um, you were up there yes wow. um when you said that uh if you if you are some someone who's experiencing like uh, pain, pain or something yeah. uh, touch touch that part and uh, you know um and you touched it. Yes, and it's totally gone now. It's it's uh, that's totally why totally <laughs> gone. I can. Uh, I told them to speak for me because I can't. I can't say it myself because I keep on crying. This. Uh, you keep on crying. Yes. This is your daughter. Daughter, yes, is this true? Yes, it's true. Every oh. night she can't sleep. She barely had sleep, and every day when she wakes up. She tells me that, Anak, ang sakit ng shoulder ko. Wala akong tulog. <laughs> wow. Are you amazed that Jesus has touched your yes, mother? Yes, I'm very amazed. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Oh, Hallelujah. Jesus stands a million. Oh, yes. Jesus thanks a million. Jesus thanks a million. Jesus thanks a million for the things you have done. How many want to say Jesus thanks a million? Jesus thanks a million. Jesus thanks a million. What is this? Uh, I, uh, uh, I'm fi uh, since August, I have this chest pain chest and back pain. pain yeah, uh, non-stop. I can't even sleep uh, with this condition. And then uh, last month, I was diagnosed with lupus. Um, after, lupus? Yes. And then after praying, I uh, felt instant relief and uh, all the pain on my chest and back. It's gone. Yeah. Wow. Jesus. Jesus, thanks. We are praying and thanking you. Oh, yes. Thanks for your healing. Wow. There's another one in the south. Another one? Who's giving a testimony? Actually, Pastor Doug, I want to tell you about testimonies that are happening in our branches. These are places that are far away. We have wonderful testimonies. COP Lipa Media, you can put the picture on the screen. Sister Miss Michelle came tonight. She has a lump on her breast. After prayer, the lump is gone. For Brother Oni has been in pain and weak for weeks, can't walk well came tonight, can walk, can bend down. Wow. Ira is suffering from chronic respiratory secretions, now gone in COP Batangas. God is good. Yeah. Wow. Why don't you give Jesus a mighty clap offering for this amazing, amazing Is there anybody else? Is there anybody else? More testimonies? All right. Everyone stand to your feet, please. 
every standing every standing every standing I want us to say thank you to Jesus listen whoever you are wherever you are there's a miracle in your hand and in your heart and we are going home with a mighty miracle father thank you thank you and thank you thank you we came expecting a miracle and we thank you for many many wonderful miracles every impossible to cure disease we thank you for power power belongs to God thank you we trust you Jesus your compassion your love for the people thank you for what you are doing tonight we give you praise and we give you thanks in Jesus name and everyone shouted Amen God bless you we continue tomorrow night Good night in Jesus' name.